Well, this is two th the end of 2018, and uh, we're home from Costa Rica and Panama, and we've had an exciting year. In many ways, a very difficult year, but in many ways, a year where we accomplished tremendous things. One of the things that we did is we took the largest missions team we've ever taken anywhere to Tila for a week and uh, ministered to the, the kids and the adults on the Tila Ks. Uh, we had an awesome time. People's lives were changed. And I can tell you that, that some of the lives that were changed were people that were on our team. The feedback that we've gotten back from people on that mission trip has just been phenomenal. We continue to work on our project in the country that is now nameless because this country has banned uh, churches. It has banned the preaching of the gospel. It has banned the celebration of Christmas. And we were underground in this country in, in the year 2000. We're, we're going underground again, uh, but we still need financial support. We've had to pull the country off of our website, but we're going to add 100 new girls to our home uh, very quickly, which means it, at our normal sponsorship rate, it takes three sponsors to sponsor one girl. So it means that we're going to need 100 uh, sponsors at three times the normal rate, or we're going to have 300 new sponsors for three sponsors per girl. And so the, the challenges keep coming, but we sent the money to finish the railing, which was a big concern. To be quite honest with you, when we made the appeal to, to finish the railing, I think some of our donors may have been a little burnt out on the project, uh, and, uh, and, but we're determined to finish it, and the railing money has been sent. The railing is being constructed as we speak, and we're preparing to bring in those new girls into that completed project. A lot of money's been invested in it. But one of the great, great privileges that we've had this year is to go to this guy's graduation. This is Alex Chayoni, and uh, he we consider him our African son. Uh, and it was an awesome thing to, to experience being with him at Earth University as he completed his four-year study program. And he received three major awards, one of them making him the valedictorian of his class, and the other selected by all his classmates as the premier student of their graduating year. And so we, uh, uh, I told Alex, I've never had those kind of awards. I've never had those kind of accolades in my entire life. And so absorb it, enjoy it, and know that, that it, it is an indication of a young man with a bright future uh, who came into our program early on. Just before we talk to Alex, let me say this, because the reason I'm doing this video is a, is a very real uh, need that we have. Uh, we have been offered at the end of the year, with a very little time left in this year, a $10,000 matching funds program. That means that every gift given will be doubled up to $10,000 uh, up until December 31st. And we need some strong end of the year giving uh, we've had we've had a pretty tight year financially. God's been good. God's been faithful, but things have been tight, and we need to end the year strong. We've got to pay for a bunch of college kids' tuition in January. Money will be flowing out of here in January like crazy to take care of our obligations, and we just need to end the year strong. And this ten thousand uh, dollar matching funds challenge is a real matching funds challenge. Uh, if we don't get the money, we don't get the money. And so we need your help. And we need people to step up to the plate and give $10,000. And I will announce for the first time that we're going to do an open house here at our offices on December 31st from 10 to 3. Uh, we're going to be having finger food. We're going to be having a time of fellowship. We'll have the ping pong table set up. Uh, people can play some ping pong. And we're just going to have a fun time hanging out together and you'll get to see our brand new offices. We're so proud of this place and I'm proud of Bess for, for all the work that she put into making this a wonderful place to work and a wonderful place to do videos just like this. Well, this is Alex. Alex, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's good to have you here for Christmas and I was excited about everything that, that's going on. 
Now, Alex has agreed to lead our ministry, our, our, our school ministry in Uganda uh, at our new campus, but he's got to go to a leadership training class before that. And, and that leadership training class is an exciting opportunity, but it creates a need as well because his leadership training class in Denver, Colorado that will last until May is a $30,000 program of training leaders. Uh, and, and they've only asked that he invest 10% of that amount in order to go. And so we need, we need $3,000 just for Alex to be able to go to this leadership training program. I thought it was very important that he go. And, uh, and I think that there's people that will understand that this young man is worthy of our investment into his life because he's going to be investing in hundreds and hundreds of children for the next few decades in Uganda. And we're going to see exciting things take place in Uganda. Alex, uh, you came into God Loves Kids. How old were you when you started attending one of our schools? I was like nine years when I joined God Loves Kids. Yes. And that's the time I got to know Jesus Christ. So our family, because my mom is the, was the only one who was saved by that time, so she introduced me to the Bible. She told me about Jesus Christ and how to live a Christ-like way. So starting that time, it was like 1999. That's when st God started doing great work in my life, getting friends and doing well in my academics. And I've been blessed all these years and God's work has been working through me. I, he has blessed me and I've been blessing many of my colleagues. And that's why I'm willing to go back to God Loves Kids to work at Philip Career School International to bless my colleagues, to bless my community, and to bless the country. One of the things that attracted us early on to Alex is that he would volunteer to tutor other young uh, men in his class and, and younger kids. He was always concerned about the children around him and taking care of those kids. And I know he's gonna do a great job leading our, our future ministry in Africa. I will say this, that just because we're delaying the start of the school so he can be involved in getting the school set properly does not mean that ministry is not going on on the campus in Africa. We have weekly meetings going on right now that are outreach meetings to the community. There's going to be a church launched in May on that campus uh, and, and our, our director William is going to be pastoring that church and the, the most exciting news that we have in God Loves Kids is our brand new outreach program and, and ministry to special needs students. You're gonna be hearing a lot about this next year as we proceed. It is, it is going phenomenally. We have a, a, one of our young men was trained up as a nurse. He's participating in this. Another young lady received her degree in special needs education and she's leading that whole group of special needs kids being ministered to. So we need sponsors for the special needs kids. We need furniture for the church. We need a well for our new campus. We need water system for the new campus. We need roofing. We need all kinds of things. We need your money. Uh, and we need you to, to be willing to invest your money into the kingdom of God and see your seed grow because I guarantee you this is good soil. You know, I never hesitate to ask for money for God Loves Kids. When I, when I have my own ministry and I travel and I spoke in churches, taking an offering was sometimes very difficult. But this is not difficult at all because I know the difference that your giving makes in the lives of these children. And what winds up happening is young men like this all over the world are given a chance to, to grow up, to get an education, to serve God, and to give back to their community because you're giving. Again, we have a $10,000 end of the year challenge. You can go on our website, godloveskids.com uh, and give there. You can give by texting the word God Loves Kids, all one word, God Loves Kids, 
to 77977. So you're texting a phone number, 77977, and you're texting the word God Loves Kids. That will take you to a, a company called PushPay. PushPay is absolutely the easiest way for you to give into this ministry. In fact, I look at the ushers at my church on Sunday and say, PushPay is putting you out of a job, you know, because I give by PushPay, my wife gives by PushPay, everybody I know in the church is push paying their gift uh, to the church. And so the, the little offering plate goes by, there's a, an envelope or, or a few coins or whatever in it, but the church is being well taken care of because we're using push pay through our phone to give. And so you can give at any moment in time. It's very easy. And once you're set up on push pay, it becomes a one or two button clicks and you, you, you're able to donate from that point on. You can also set up a reoccurring gift. If you want to sponsor a child and you want to use push pay, you can set that up to sponsor every single month. It'll just automatically push pay us the money. It's an awesome service. So I, again, I want to challenge you. This is living evidence that what God Loves Kids has done for 45 years not only works, it works in a huge way in people's lives. And, uh, and we're excited about what the, the future holds for us. We're excited about 2019. I'm looking forward to another challenging but wonderful year. It seems like that's all we ever have is that we, we face huge challenges, but we also receive huge miracles because of it. And God has blessed this ministry. God continues to bless this ministry. And we are, we are moving forward in the ministry to the neediest children of the world. And we're doing it in a regal way.